Hello, hello, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Such a big, big panel <laughs> to to take part. So um, I will start by sharing my screen. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Barla, for the introduction. Um, it's funny to hear. Also, it was funny for me to hear also Eva Kupic's presentation before, because <laughs> I'm somehow related to to her profile. I'm, I'm, I'm also. Uh, have a background as an architect, and I'll be now be doing my PhD in urban planning as well. So <laughs> this is kind of a, a common trend I can see, um, especially because, as she said, uh, the funny part is more into the planning. So how all um, all, all our studies and all our actions could have a, a, an effect on urban planning. So today I'm share, sharing with you one of our most committed projects in terms of urban participation and sustainable urban planning. And to start it, as, as I said, I will just share with you a clip. The Danube isn't just a river. It's a hub, a route that flows through the nodes of Central Europe, connecting them economically and culturally. The cities along the Danube are thus interconnected, interdependent and interrelated. Their fates are bound to each other in a way with similar experiences, challenges, and opportunities. These water-bound cities have experienced quite a lot over the years, including the most recent transformations and crisis, which has had an effect on them all. Underused and unused spaces have popped up as a result of deindustrialization, affecting the transformation of living and working patterns. To tackle such significant issues collectively, the cities of the Danube region work together. The Agora project equips 10 different cities in the Danube region with solutions to activate local space potentials. The project will enable these cities to become drivers and mediators for urban reactivation. What will the Agora project accomplish? Agora will deliver a capacity building program and a toolkit with innovative policy instruments and urban regeneration agendas which strengthen institutional capacities. The Agora pilots are based in post-industrial areas, underused public spaces, and unused commercial buildings. The final transnational capacity and building transfer program will be further enhanced as guidelines and policy recommendations for a better governance of urban regeneration in the Danube region. Urban Voids to Urban Potentials, Agora, an Interreg Danube project. As you could understand, uh, as you can understand, uh, the project of Agora deals with um, special and governance problems in the Danube region. So uh, Agora uh, is, stands for Advanced Cogeneration Options for Integrating Local Assets. So uh, because um, from our first analysis, what we have uh, seen in the, um, the new region is that uh, as in other cities around the world, the industrialization and uh, urban transition led to uh, the growth uh, of this, of such as uh, in decline, underuse or underused spaces that sometimes and often uh, cities cannot really cannot really um, manage don't, don't have the right governance how to how to how to deal with also the social movements that we saw before um, I, I find quite interesting that um, as, as like I said our presentation now from the tropian side is complementary to the fact that, that we saw before because what we are doing now is to to try to engage uh, public administration because our partner are territorial uh, partners are um, uh, or consultancy or uh, public officers that wants to know more that uh, are aware of the need to regenerate such spaces and they want uh, and they, uh, they are involved in this uh, agora journey it's, it's a learning process uh, between uh, 10 different cities in a new region so partner cities are city of Chisinau, Cluj Napoca, Kranj, Koprivnica, uh, Prague 9, uh, Slavonsky Broad, Regional uh, Neckar Alb, uh, these two of Prague 9, Sarvash and Senica. Um, um, yeah, so um, what is interesting in our Agora journey is the fact that, uh, as said, we want to empower uh, local, uh, local authorities. 
So uh, a first part of the of our project is is in um, is in about to finish now. It's uh, just uh, developing knowledge. So our partner cities need uh, need to know more how does the whole urban direction uh, real and, and how does it connect with social movements and with community activation because we have been seeing this. Uh, um, these teams and in big cities or from another context, like the professor uh, got uh, got dinner showed us. But we are working with such a different scale, with with with, with really real more scale, small scale. So in some cases we don't have big social movements. Or on the contrary, we have we have uh, kind of a total disconnection. So it's 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 up to it's up to the to our particular partners now how to to engage them. So after. Uh, a first, um, a first period of just knowledge on urban innovation and, and uh, urban sustain, sustainable development. Um, the Agora project wants to focus on community activation, and this is this is this is what is important uh, for us now to share today with this in this panel. Uh, the fact that uh, we already had during the summertime this series of workshops when uh, our ten cities uh, had. A workshop when they tried to first engage with local stakeholders. Uh, it was it was like a call of, of action to from from the city to to projects to uh, to see together what uh, what is the what is the Agora project about. So um, city officers could show how the Agora project is working and uh, and what is the um, what is the commitment of the cities because each. Each of our territorial partners will engage. We'll have a pilot project. You know? We'll have a we'll have a test area where to where to implement all the learnings that are coming now from the from this Agora journey. So um, I wanted to share with you again just two small clips to 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 give you an idea of how how important it is and how how was it uh, for. For, for the cities. Uh, so first we have a small contribution from Koprivnica. Organizacija ovakvih radionica vrlo je korisna i značajna za rješavanje pitanja i problema u gradovima. Ono što je svakako važno za istaknuti je da ovakve radionice su vrlo dobro pripremljene i bilo mi izuzetno lijepo surađivati i raditi na takvoj radionici jer ne samo da se raspravljalo o svim mogućim problemima, da li strateškim, taktičkim ili operativnim, nego smo primjenjivali određene metodologije, čime nas se dovelo da doista možemo kompetentno raspravljati o problemima koji su vezani za ovo područje, na kraju krajeva i probleme vezane za ovaj dio Koprivnica. Problem je koji je ovdje prisutan, mogu reći, 21 godinu koliko se mi nalazimo, je prvo prometni problem, problem parkirališta, problem gustog prometa, problem dolaska djece pred školu, u školu. Ova ideja oko uređenja Svilarske je pohvalna, da se jednostavno možda sažime u sve ovi prostori u nekakvu jedinstvenu cijelinu, da napravimo nekakav suživ od svih ovih ovoga građana i nas objekata i škola koje radimo u sklopu Svilarske ulice, znači da sinagoga saživi zajedno, naravno sa umjetničkom školom, sa muzejom, sa kinom i sa svim ovim prostorima koje ovdje radimo i djelujemo unutar ove ulice.
Vita Agora. Bavit ćemo se zapravo s javnim prostorima grada Koprivnice, što je poseban izazov u nekakvom okruženju gdje se do sada o javnim prostorima zapuštenim ili napuštenim odlučivalo u nekakvim uskim krugovima ljudi. Najveći izazov nam je napraviti participativni pristup i uključiti sve relevantne dionike koji će se baviti sa našom pilot lokacijom i čini nam se da imamo dosta veliki potencijal u gradu Koprivnici, posebno sudeći na ovaj današnji prvi sastanak koji smo napravili sa našim dionicima. Dakle, svi su bili zainteresirani, svi su potvrdili dolazak i na buduće radionice. Znači, zaintrigirao ih je taj participativni pristup, zaintrigirala ih je mogućnost da radimo bottom-up proces i da oni budu uključeni u planiranje javnog prostora, javnog prostora koji zapravo pripada svim građanima. Projekt Agora je projekt koji se sufinancira iz Interreg Dunav programa. Partnerstvo na projektu čini 17 partnera iz 10 različitih zemalja. Ukupno vrijednost projekta je nešto više od 2 milijona i 300 tisuća eura. Razvojna agencija Sjever koja je jedan od partnera zajedno sa pridruženim partnerom Gradikom Privnicom provodi projektne aktivnosti unutar samog grada. Što je cilj? Cilj je znači revalorizirati prostore gradske u samom gradu Komprivnici, uključujući javnost, uključujući participativno odlučivanje s ciljem stvaranja dodane vrijednosti za samu lokalnu zajednicu. Yes. Okay. Okay. No. Um, so my first, uh, my first introduction on the workshop was to, to share with you this uh, some some remarks from our, from our professor in Kovrinica that says that uh, it is important that these meetings are well prepared. And of course, this is what we are also doing uh, within the, the project. We are communication managers, but also scientific partners. And uh, as you saw before. Uh, one of the partners is UIS, the Urban Institute of the Republic of Slovenia, and the project helping us in community activation is PACORA, Network of City and Regions from Germany, and, um, and our and other partners are uh, Urba Sofia uh, from Romania and uh, the MRI, uh, Metropolitan Research Institute of the Central European Union in Budapest. So this is why uh, There is this uh, kind of um, scientific committee behind behind this community activation, and we are also providing uh, our partners with tools to um, how to develop this workshop. But the, but uh, luckily, uh, some of them has the um, let's say the internal resources, of course, within the public administration and within their community to uh, to deal with these workshops, like this uh, architect. <music> Oko projekta Agora bavit ćemo se zapravo s javnim prostorima grada Koprivnice, što je poseban izazov u nekakvom okruženju gdje se do sada o javnim prostorima zapuštenim ili napuštenim odlučivalo u nekakvim uskim krugovima ljudi. Najveći izazov nam je napraviti participativni pristup i uključiti sve relevantne dionike koji će se baviti sa našom pilot lokacijom. I čini nam se da imamo dosta veliki potencijal u gradu Koprivnici, posebno sudeći na ovaj današnji prvi sastanak koji smo napravili sa našim dionicima. Dakle, svi su bili zainteresirani, svi su potvrdili dolazak i na buduće radionice. Znači, zaintrigirao ih je taj participativni pristup, zaintrigirala ih je mogućnost da radimo bottom-up proces i da oni budu uključeni u planiranje javnog prostora, javnog prostora koji zapravo pripada svim građanima. As, uh, as mentioned here, um, this was only just uh, 
the first uh, workshop of a series of workshops that will take place during the Agora project because uh, one, uh, one, of the, one of the main critiques to part of this participation uh, uh, workshops and just approach is, is that uh, it takes, it, it, it's not enough to do it just one, one meeting, but it, it takes time. So this is, why, this is why the Agora project, in the Agora project, this series of meetings in the summertime uh, is the first one and we'll be having more and more. Here I have some, some, of, some learnings from our partners in Pra and Cluj-Napoca where they highlight the importance of these meetings because these cities uh, ha have, all, have already some structures, especially Cluj Napoca has, uh, has an office for civic imagination. There's like a, it's an in-between space between the city administration and the, and the, and the citizens where they can uh, suggest ideas and they can, they can meet. Uh, but still uh, needs to be more developed and uh, the Agora project gives the chance to, to, to grow more. And uh, working with uh, the Neckar Alb region, uh, our partner, uh, it's on a, let's say, much more bigger scale than, than the local one. So for, so for, for them was uh, special because uh, they could see how people could, could really e imagine uh, the way they could, they could uh, bring their ideas on, uh, on on the projects, uh, because as I said before, uh, on, on such uh, working on different scale is, is not is not is not always we, we're not always dealing with uh, social movements or struggles. It's more about uh, we have of, of cities or territorial um, partners having uh, having to deal with their brownfield and they don't really know how to engage sometimes. So uh, for this. Uh, the work with Urba Sofia will uh, be on developing uh, generation agendas, uh, but this uh, again will be done through a participatory uh, journey. Uh, now we are between the first and the this, this second of these workshops uh, designed by Urba Sofia. And from a first uh, workshop that already took place in, in September, where partners could just bring their ideas and um, Think together with, with the city, the cities, what to do in the different agora areas and in, in, in a pilot project. Uh, we'll be working on a on a more uh, specific uh, project development in the second workshop, and then again in the third one, create a, a real strategy that will be will be adopted by by the city. And at the end of the process, uh, we want the cities to have. A, a coordination agenda, like uh, to commit uh, together uh, with citizens on uh, how uh, how should urbanization work in this in this uh, in these cities. And for this, it's important to mention that uh, in our workshop series in November, we will also um, join the forces with the after community conference. So we want our cities also to think about uh, now back uh, one year ago, what were the main issues that were raised in urban planning? What were the learnings uh, in urban planning? Because we had we had a feeling that as we go back to a kind of a new normality, some of the learnings might get uh, forgotten or lost. Like uh, we were all discussing about the importance of public spaces, for example. Uh, we don't want this to just be forgotten as uh, we go back to a new normality. And um, as a final, um, final step in our Agora project will be the a transfer and capitalization of all the Agora experience. So after um, our 10 cities will, will uh, uh, adopt the coordination agendas, we want this, um, the project to create also guidelines for the new region. So how uh, other cities in a new region could also learn from the Agora project. And this will be done by MRI, will be uh, guided by MRI with the contribution, of course, of all scientific partners, including us. And this is our, our main goal, but uh, as said, uh, for now we are more focusing on uh, this series of, of workshops that come from the workshop that took place last, uh, last summer time, and uh, it is important for us. Um, and yeah, uh, sorry, I stopped my, my, my screen sharing, but actually I wanted to, of course, share with you some context <laughs> uh, for us and for the project because 
um, the, the, the aim of the workshop is not to it's not as in Jekyll to have toolkits for it's not explicitly to have toolkits for for communities around Europe, but of course we also have a toolkit as mentioned and other and other um, tools for uh, participation that we will share with you on our website is uh, a micro website on the Interact the New uh, website. Um, so interact the new .eu slash approve, approve projects slash agora. And of course you can find us also on uh, social media like Facebook and YouTube where you can find more clips <laughs> from our uh, meetings. Thank you.